isn't the most accurate test, but since I don't run an EGT probe currently, I'm gonna go ahead and take the temperature at the manifold. I this would be a pretty cool test to actually see if it's cooler at the manifold at least, right? All right, so the highest reading that we had last time was 264. Very incredible. I've been on the road for hours. So the highest reading that I'm getting is like 126. Man, do I have a really cool video for you today. So today, finally, with the LBZ Duramax, this is the 2007 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD with the diesel in it, the Duramax 66 liter. I have never done manifolds and uppipes. So the product that we're gonna be reviewing today is the PPE manifolds and uppipes. I want you guys to stay tuned and watch till the end because I'm actually gonna compare the differences between the stock versus the upgraded. Not only that, we're gonna go ahead and take it on the road and I'll go ahead and get on it a little bit and see if it'll increase my boost as well. It's funny that I've never upgraded this. I don't know if it's because I have so many other builds going on, but the fact that I have a Ryan's Diesel Service Turbo 68 millimeter charger, I have the full HSP bundle kit, the full Wybridge bundle kit. I also have bigger injectors. I have a lift pump. You know, I have a built transmission. I have the upgraded rear end as well as the transfer case from Kodiak truck. So there's just a lot of things going on with this motor. But with that being said, I've neglected the manifolds. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of this stuff, I'll leave a link in the description as well. You can also use my coupon code TRUCKMASTER. It's all one word. It's going to save you guys some money because you know these parts aren't cheap, but they definitely pay you back. They really do. What you're looking at is the high flow exhaust manifolds and uppipes. This is going to correlate from anything from an 01 to a 2016 in your 66 liter Duramax application. In this kit included, you will have the high flow manifolds. These things look so awesome, don't they? How they high rise like that. They're just super beefy and meaty. They have the MPT port already tapped, so it's gonna be very simple. When you guys want to install that EGT probe so you can monitor your gas temperatures, which is so important, especially when you're hauling a trailer. And on top of that, it comes with your high flow up pipes. And I'm gonna show you guys that here in a second why these are so important as well. And they give you all the bolts necessary. And one thing that I've noticed is these bolts right here are sort of countersunk into the material. So it's really gonna hold nicely. And the other thing that I really like about this kit is it comes included with your gaskets. Also, one more thing to mention, I went ahead and went to the parts store at the GM, my local GM dealership, and I picked up some up-pipe bolts and for, for right here, because you don't want to reuse your up-pipe bolts once you install this stuff. You always want to put brand new up-pipe bolts in there, no matter what. Here is the part number if you guys want to reference that. Of course, since I'm at it, I'm going to be pulling the downpipe anyway, so I'm going to be installing brand new V-band clamps. And here is the GM part number right there, in case you guys are interested. That being said, I want to review this kit really quickly. So the entire manifold up-pipe exhaust system is designed to lower your exhaust gas temperatures. It also reduces drive pressure and accelerates your turbo spool. And another thing that I really like about these uppipes is it has a stainless steel inner liner in the bellows. We also talked about the MPT tap for the EGT sensor for that to go inside of the manifold, which is always a huge plus, so you're not actually drilling and tapping. Let's go ahead and compare the parts really fast. This is a uppipe from another truck. What you're looking at is the expansion bellows, like what we talked about. And with this being stock, these are extremely prone to failure. As a matter of fact, this right here exploded at one point. As you can imagine, it probably wouldn't be a good situation if you're stuck or stranded on the side of the highway and you had to figure out what to do because if this happens, you could chug along, but you're really going nowhere. You really are. I mean, you're losing a lot of power. There's even just the smallest hole or a crack. You're going to know about it. That being said, they did upgrade this expansion bellow right here. They made the walls thicker and a lot stronger. It's a really good insurance piece. If you can tell the difference in the size, actually increase the inside diameter. They've made it to where it's not so flat, which is pretty cool too. So it's going to give you way better flow. This is going to be a stock manifold from your 01 to 2016 Duramax. And as you can see, you know, again, it's pretty flat. It's very restrictive. There's really not much of a transition there. It just sits flat right on the engine. Here's a really good example. If you were to look at the end of this right here, this basically shoots down to almost a 90 on the end over here. It has more of a bend and it actually high rises up. So I can see why they're saying that the EGTs will actually lower. Now that we've explained everything, let's go ahead and install this stuff. Okay, so take that 11 millimeter deep socket, remove the V-band clamp from the downpipe. Go ahead and remove all the up pipe bolts. Next, go ahead and use a 11 millimeter deep socket and remove the V-band clamp from the actual turbo from the downpipe. And then once you've done that, go ahead and just pull that downpipe up just to get it out of the way. 
Now onto the manifold. I went ahead and just removed the heat shield. You don't have to do that. Now I did use a wobble extension as well as a pretty long extension to my air impact in order to get behind the manifold. But you're gonna have two nuts and you're also gonna have six bolts that you're gonna remove. And of course you're gonna go ahead and just remove everything out of there. And then once you've done that and you've removed all of the up pipe bolts from the actual turbo, which on a side note is probably one of my least favorite things of this job right here. It'll give you access, of course, to remove everything on the side, your up pipe, as well as your down pipe. And by the way, the easiest way to get to this up pipe is from the ground on the driver's side, right above your engine oil filter right there. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and remove our steering shaft. It's just one 15 millimeter bolt with a retaining clip on the back of it, as you can see right there. And then go ahead and move that out of the way. One thing I wanted to add is the manifold studs that are stuck in there once you remove the actual manifold. Now, the problem with this is that if you try to extract it on this side, which I tried to do, put vice grips on it to try to twist it out, it wouldn't come out. That being said, I don't want to put too much pressure on these bolts to the point where they snap into the head. That would not be fun. On the passenger side right now, I did attempt to use both of the nuts to try to back it out that way. But the problem is you have this little flange right here, so you're not able to get a socket over it. Of course, using an open-end wrench is not going to cut it. What I'd like to do is use my impact in, you know, lightly vibrate it to where it kind of works its way loose from the head. And then go ahead and just you know zip it out of course i have another one on this side as well what i did is i sprayed wd-40 let it sit overnight so if you guys run into this problem here's a cool little trick these are 10 millimeter nuts i went to the hardware store and picked them up they're also fine thread well here is go ahead and put two of them on there and then just like a tie rod in a way go ahead and lock both of these together on each other and then go ahead and loosen this one right here and what i'd like to do is extract it that way using this 18 millimeter deep socket. That worked perfect. So I went ahead and just pre-gamed it, put the gasket on there with the actual bolts and just feed it right up through the top, right below the turbo there. It just makes life so much easier when you actually install that right there. But leave everything loose because you're going to need some wiggle room once you actually install this manifold. Now when you put the manifold on, make sure that the engine oil dipstick tube is actually inside of the manifold. Now I did make my own little tool. I took an 8mm Allen wrench and I just cut it off where it 90s right there. And then what I did is I took that right there and I shoved it right inside of a socket. And that gave me an extension in order to get back behind those impossible bolts in order to tighten everything up now when you tighten this it's going to be 50 foot pounds and to be honest with you it's extremely hard to swing a torque wrench in there i personally tried but what i'll tell you is get them as tight as possible i think i tighten these probably about three times around and then on top of that of course you're going to secure the bolts from the up pipe to the manifold make sure all this stuff is very tight i did use a torque wrench but no luck you guys can tell I installed a PPE downpipe. And what was really cool with this kit right here is it came with a bracket for a downpipe, which is really neat. Went ahead and installed that. I also installed brand new V-band clamps, as you guys saw in the beginning of the video. But overall, um, it wasn't fun. It wasn't a very easy job, to be honest with you. I'm not saying that the job is very hard, but it's very time consuming. But yep, it's all done, all good to go. Everything's high flow finally. And then, of course, on the top here, as you can see, everything's all buttoned up. Of course, I didn't document the driver's side, but let's be honest, trying to get a camera back there is going to be ridiculous. But it's all done in reverse order. You just really got to take your time. This probably took longer on the driver's side. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and start it up right now. right now we'll go ahead and get to the next day all right guys it is the next day i have the truck outside warming up we're gonna go ahead and take it on a little test drive i didn't put the inner fenders back in because if we have an issue i'll be able to get to it easily my way's not clear but the roads are which is awesome so let's go ahead and take this thing out let's see if we get any noticeable differences all right now we're off i just got on the road as a matter of fact i have the trailer hooked up to the truck because i'm going to be picking something up
It actually has a deeper growl to it. All right, guys, so previous boost was at 26 PSI, was the highest that I hit. Well, <laughs> increase the boost, that's awesome. Now I know I can get more out of this Ryan's Diesel Service Turbo, but I choose not to because I daily the thing. If I was gonna use it for dynos and other things like that, I would definitely amp up the tuning, but that's where I have it set. But very interesting guys, we just gained four PSI. Yeah, 30 PSI, not bad. I know what you're gonna say, what about the EGTs? I don't have the EGT probe right now. Unfortunately, I thought I'd have it, you know, by today at least, so we can get it installed for a good review, but I don't have it. So, with that being said, I'll keep you guys updated. I have that little infrared temperature gauge, so when we get back to the house, I'll show you guys what the readings are. I know this isn't the most accurate test, but since I don't run an EGT probe currently, I'm gonna go ahead and take the temperature at the manifold. I thought this would be a pretty cool test to actually see if it's cooler at the manifold at least, right? All right, so the highest reading that we had last time was 264. Very incredible, I've been on the road for hours. So the highest reading that I'm getting is like 126. But actually monitoring my EGTs, which to be honest with you, we already know it's already lower, especially with that PPE downpipe as well as the manifolds and the high flow up pipes. So to answer this question, is it worth it? Is it worth it to spend the coin to buy the manifolds and up pipes from PPE? Yes, absolutely. If I'm gonna gain four PSI on the boost just from simple bolt-on parts, it's definitely worth it because let's be honest here, guys, it's gonna increase my miles per gallon because my motor isn't working as hard to move. So therefore, I'm not using as much fuel. So in my opinion, it's a success, guys. This is awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, this install right here took me a while. It's one bolt in particular where I actually had to weld a nut on it to be able to back it out. So. It was getting a little sketch in there. I did put that on the video because I was getting a little aggravated, but we were able to do it. And look, I'm a guy just like you. You know, I mean, regular tools, of course, have tools and uh, patience, lots of patience, lots of PB blaster. <laughs> it's going to go a long way. And of course, heat in your garage because it was cold in mine. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments. I will be using other manifolds in the future for some of my other builds just to kind of compare them. But overall, PPE's been using these manifolds for many years. They've always had very good success with them, so I decided to go with them. Last time I actually talked to PPE on the phone, they do know I have a YouTube channel. I asked them to set me up with a coupon code to help you guys out, so you guys can get a discount on anything PPE on their website. And that same goes for Ryan's Diesel Service, HSP Diesel, Kodiak Truck, all those guys. I left everything in the description below. It's gonna help you guys out. They continue to provide you guys with some just amazing content for the diesel community so you don't feel like you're the only one out there thank you so much for watching the videos make sure you guys hit the notification bell subscribe and stay tuned oh, ready to do tug of war part two she's gonna lose sorry mama